Yeah. All right. I'm not too sure. Well, I mean, I know, I think Thibaut uh, was unable to play for other real life issues or reasons. So maybe they have swapped over this, but uh, Infernion has played the Disc Priest before. It's not like it's his first time playing this class. I think, I don't think he ever mained it, but there was a time where his Disc Priest was like quite one of these significant ults that uh, was quite, uh, quite strong on the ladder. But I, I'm just not sure if WMP is the strongest comp going up against RMD. I mean, they can definitely get a kill onto No Lifer. They do have that MD for the ice block, of course, which probably means I'm going to say that No Lifer cancels his ice block at some point, and Twitch chat's going to gleefully correct me. We oh, do see Master Spell? Kind of pushing in. That was Master Spell. What are you talking you about? You noob, that was Master Trying Spell. That knows nothing. <laughs> uh, well, actually, No Lifer not really able to get an opener, so. Uh, Akesuchi does step onto Fried. Can they get the CC onto Disc Fernion though? But Disc Fernion comes out with the fear onto Akesuchi. He's also Nova behind the pillars. He's unable to get dispelled. Disc Fernion instantly, oh, and he does get caught into the sheep. So unfortunate for him. And this is going to mean that Kenichi Tigers are able to get that semi clean opener onto Fried Kitty. He's able to blink away though. And there's no step for Suichi. So this is actually quite a good opener for the uh, WMP. I'm not even used to saying that comp name, but they're actually going on to Chaz. Uh, they force the heart of the wild out. The silence coming out. They have good pressure. This is the avatar recklessness from Haxan. He's trying to get as much pressure as possible. Forcing out the NS. It looks like he's just going to tunnel Chaz, dumping him down to 50% again and again. But the heart of the wild should be enough. And I'm not sure he can really leave his team to 2v2 right now. Fred Kitty dropping to about 60% HP. Infernion uses his trinket there, but caught into the full blind, unfortunately. The DFA is blinked by Fred Kitty, so he's going to take no damage from that. Well played by him. The trinket does come out in exchange for the blind, but if they can hold the block, this is going to be really good, but I don't think they'll be able to. Yeah, they are unable to. Infernion grips him back to his side, but now caught into a frost draw. If Stokenau can get a clone here, it might even just be the end of the game. Doesn't look like they can. Stokenau caught in a deep freeze, but they don't follow it up. Uh, no life for taking a bit of pressure here, down to half HP. Stokenau forced to use his iron bark. Uh, that iron bark even still might not be enough. Stokenau caught into a storm bolt, and it does end up fading. We see a deep freeze on Infernion. They follow it with a sheep. A full clone onto Haxon. It's a 3v1 over onto Fried Kitty. Haxon's going to trink it out to try and break up some CC, but I don't even think they need any more. Shadow Dance comes out. Fried Kitty under fire. He's trying to get away. Death from above connects. Fried Kitty barely getting that block off in time. The Rallying Cry will boost his HP, but now that Rallying Cry is going to fall in the block. Infernion still getting cloned up, and my phone is ringing. Fried Kitty with the pain suppression now as well. It's a lot of cooldowns used on the Fried Kitty. He's going to survive, but for how much longer? Yeah, I don't think the Turbo Resident Sleeper are going to be saved by the bell on this occasion. It looks like they're just so far behind. Both blocks down, no trinkets available. The next setup should easily be the kill. The DR Fae coming out on Stoinkinov. There's no real pressure coming out the, the NS uh, to answer that. And Fried Kitty is just going to go down here, surely. The full Sheep, the full Cyclone. Can they continue the cross CC? Fried Kitty blinks away. He's trying desperately to survive, but he gets caught in the smoke bomb. Discfernion actually breaks the C's chase chain and is able to keep Fried Kitty alive for one more go. And that actually means that the trinket is almost back up for him. If they can just turtle it out just a little bit longer, maybe they can still keep him alive. Uh, but it doesn't look great for them offensively. They haven't forced a single real offensive call on. I guess we did blow his trinket there, so maybe they can turn it around. But the full sheep onto Inferno is surely going to be the game. The DFA comes out, and Fried Kitty does go down, and uh, that wasn't too close. I mean, they survived a lot longer than I thought they would. I'll give them that credit. Yeah, that's true. I, I expected and they them did to just quite flop. a few CCs, but they just. I don't, I don't see how they win the game. Like you saw them trying to maybe one shot Chaz a little bit, but uh, I think as long as they respect Haxan's offensive cooldowns, this is going to be quite an uphill struggle for the WMP. Yeah, Fried Kitty went down like my phone. He just got unplugged. <laughs> he got unplugged. That's that's what it looked got, like. He, if your hand, like your hand, comes from above to uh, pull out the plug, right? So in a way, they both got death from above. Oh. Huh? Did I just death from above my phone? <laughs> Maybe. Should I make a video of that? Would that be funny? I feel like... Yeah, I think that would be hilarious. Your sarcasm is too thick. <laughs> too thick. Alright, well, I mean, if, if Tebow can't play, I guess they're going to have to play something, you know, a little bit more abnormal. Um, it seems like yeah, the Warrior I, I, Priest is their only option. I don't know. I, I, I hope he's able to come back, but I, I think... He might be out as well, which probably doesn't spell great. But the thing is, if they haven't practiced this WMP too much, then they are going to get better at it over the series. So maybe 
uh, we will see improvement. I'm not sure it's going to be enough to take down the Kinitra Tigers, who have looked quite strong over all three of these tournaments and, of course, have been playing RMT together quite a lot. It would be also nice to see if Kinitra Tigers would maybe bring out Mystic for this series. I would love to see that, but I'm not sure if he's... Uh, just to let him play, like, like the it's Infernion's Disc Crease, you can come play a game. <laughs> Is that what they, no. they could do that? I don't know. I mean, that would be pretty bad manner, but they could do it, and we'd get to see Mystic. What if they played Rhett Mage Druid? There you go. That would be interesting. Come on, Mystic, play uh, Rhett I, Mage I would like Druid. to see something like that. But, One um, game. One game. I, Uno I, I Mas. Think, I think Uno they Mas. may well just... <laughs> I would like to see something like that. I would love to see Mystic play, but um, I think they might just stick to their RMD for now. Like they know they can win this. They don't want to risk anything here. I mean, the WMP they showed signs of life in that game. They uh, they lived a long time, like you said. They did have periods where they got people low on the other team. And Freikady and Hackstone are definitely capable of putting out a lot of burst if the other team isn't ready for it. And maybe if you put a Rep Harden or an Elemental, like someone that's less slippery for the Warrior to train, then they could actually make something happen here. So I think the RFD is just going to be... Uh, they're just going to stick with this and probably... I mean, yeah. They, if they, uh, if they really care about the winning, series. they're going to just play R&D throughout the entire thing. If they want to like entertain maybe a little bit, they would play something cheeky like <laughs> Brett Mage. But yeah, I mean, they, they're just going to keep playing this. And I mean, aggressively, the Warrior Mage Priest didn't get much done. Uh, there weren't a lot of opportunities for them uh, based on what they were setting out. I mean, they committed a lot of resources to Stoke and all the rest of Druid, and they didn't even get him to skin, so they already committed a lot yeah. of damage to him. I mean, maybe <laughs> maybe you should just go Siege Breaker, you know? You, you, you know and try one shot the mage. Yeah, just like. Just I, I'd actually like that. Don't even go for CC. Just like Stormbolt the rest of Druid and try and kill it. <laughs> like Stormbolt. And I don't know. Infernian did land fears. So it's not like Hexen really needs his fear that much, to be honest. Like, they didn't really get anything done with it. I think. I think you're right that you just try catch no life at one of the times he blinks in, you just try one shot him or something like that. Maybe not even one shot him. If you get the block then you can MD it. Like you have a chance to win the game like that. Maybe get like a short sense on Chaz's trinket, but we're kinda kinda theory crafting something here, being a little creative. I'm not sure if they're actually gonna be able to pull it off. But I'd love to see it happen. If Fried Kitty could go Evan S and just cold snap Evan S and cast Frostbolts and not stop <laughs> and just go for the absolute one shot. I mean Unless they, I, I don't know how, if they can win this playing conventionally. It seems pretty difficult. We if see. anyone can like theory craft a one shot like that, it's going to be Fried Kitty. This is the kind of stuff he's known for. For his, uh, he he knows when he can just kind of kill people with this insane amount of burst. And maybe this is what they're going for. They do get the fear onto Chaz, so a nice opener again from this uh, WMP. But at the same time, Fried Kitty takes so much damage. He's just going to have to block instantly, surely down to 20% of the full sheep. They might even be able to CC through this, to be honest. And again, the recklessness from Haxan isn't going to achieve too much. The Cyclone swapped over onto Infernion. That's going to outlast the block from Fried Kitty. Can he get the invis off? It looks like he might be able to, but he does get got out by No Life. He's not going to fall for any of that shenanigans. Fried Kitty caught into the kidney now. The smoke bomb comes out. He trinkets out of it. Looks like he's going to be able to be okay for now if Infernion can land some of the heals. But uh, there's just uh, the deep reason the Stormbot overlap is going to shut down the CC. We see a full sheep on Stokinov. Uh, maybe if they can connect, they get some damage on No Lifer. Haxon does manage to finally get over here. He's trying to output some deeps, but it doesn't seem to be doing too much. Uh, now Haxon caught in a cheap shot. Stokinov chains that into a clone. Haxon trinkets out right away. He wants to stop the sheep, but he wasn't able to get back in time. And now with everyone crowd controlled, Fried Kitty is on the run, but he's kind of just stuck in the middle of the map. Where's he going to go? Where's he going to run? There's nowhere for you to hide. He's down to 30%. And he might need the block here. He's down to 8% rallying cry barely in time. Trades out his final ice block. And this is just looking so one-sided for Kenitra Tigers. I really don't know what Turbo Resident Sleeper is going to do. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're trying something here. It's it's not working out. It's looking actually quite Ooh. bad for them. They actually forced their block onto No Life for that avatar from Haxon. This is kind of like a sign of what we were trying to say. It's like maybe with Haxon's cooldowns, they can get the odd block on No Life and maybe even try kill him before it. But he's smart to that. He uses his block nice and early making sure there's zero chance that they throw a game here. The PS coming out preemptively on the sheep from Disfernion, that's nice to see. Fry Kitty still dropping quite low though. The Trinket is being held onto. Maybe he can afford to hold onto it, but he trinkets the Frost Joy into the full blind. Surely this is going to be the game. Fried Kitty down to 10% HP. He will fall, unfortunately, for Infernion. I, don't, I think he had to trinket that. Fried was so, so low before, and uh, 
the blind to follow it up instantly from Echo Suichi, fast reactions from him does put them 2-0 ahead in this series. I mean, they have mass to spell, too. Like, if they global no-lifer to, like, 10% health <laughs> and then just Trinket MD is blocked, they could kill him. I, I, I mean, like, they're already kind of, like, handicapping themselves. Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting close. But so... Uh, all, uh, a little bit of BM coming out here. Well, they're just never letting Infernia leave, just cloning him over and over. <laughs> Ice no fain into the clone. Ice no fain into clone. Oh, they made him leave. No life oh, wait, no, they didn't. That was someone else. Infernia refuses to leave. Like, you have to kill me. I'm not leaving. But I, I don't. I would like to see Siege Breaker. Like, if they're already going to have to disadvantage themselves playing this because Tebow's in here, uh, I think they should just play it more gimmicky. Like, just go for it. Like, why not? Like, if you're not going to be able to win anyway, like... I mean, there's still a chance. Like, I mean, even myself, like, one of, uh, I've won a GCD TV, if you didn't know. The one GCD TV that I won, I played KFC with Siege Breaker. Mm. So I, I, I've known, like, I can I know how to, like, kill a mage. You can one-shot one mages with that, for sure, yeah. So it's it's possible. And I, I actually would like to just see him do it. Just screw it, like, whatever, right? What's the big deal? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting word from Kinitra Tigers that, uh, that Mystic is like so confident in his RMD right now that he's he's gone fishing like literally like it's not just like a a, a turn of phrase he has literally gone fishing <laughs> during this tournament so he feels quite confident clearly in his Kanitra Tigers in the life Echo Suichi and Stunken of uh, pulling through today and maybe we'll see him tomorrow I think a lot of people are asking where's Mystic and would like to see him because he is signed up but um. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to need him for this one, and uh, I think we're certainly going to see the Kanitra Tigers tomorrow. We just have to kind of finish the formality of uh, of this WMP. Who, like the, that game was better. Like we did say that uh, over the series, they are going to get better, right? And they did force the block this game. And like you say, if you if they did go Siege Breaker, maybe, maybe, maybe they could win. They could get a kill onto no life or like that with the MD or even preemptively on the block. So they do have that option, but even if they take a game like that, which I'd love to see, I don't see them taking the series. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, outside of them going Siege Breaker and trying to like one shot their way to victory, I, I don't think they're going to be able to. I mean, maybe Warrior Mage Priest is, is okay against RMD, but with no practice on it, I don't think you're going to stand a chance. So. Uh, I think they need to go for a little bit more of a cheesy play, you know? Cheese! You know what Fried Kitty needs to do? Huh? He needs to log his DJ flappers. He has a Feral? I don't even I don't even know if Kitty would do... as like I actually think Warrior Mage would stand a better chance. So, I... Uh, okay. I think we're going to finish this series with a bang right here. So we'll see... That? We'll see how this one works. Triple out. DPS, but, uh, please. We have a new comp. Please, triple DPS. In, Anything. Uh, from Turbo Resident Sleeper. So I think this is not going to be a Resident Sleeper game. It should be a nice way to finish out the day. What is it? What uh, is it? Triple enhance? This enhanced? team is quite up against the wall right now. So they have decided to bring something out. Maybe they're going to redefine the meta here, guys. You're going to see it live at GCD TV on this fine Saturday. We do see Haxons enter the arena. What are the other two classes? We see Fried Kitty, and we do see Infernian not playing Disfernian. Do you think? Oh my God! Ah! Oh, oh, they're gonna win. There's no way they lose. No way. No way. I mean, like, think about it. You got WLS. You got the Warrior in the lock, and then you got MLS. You got the Mage. Why don't you just put the Mage with the Warrior in the lock? Oh my God! Exactly. Imagine how much damage this composition can run. I mean. I, I think I actually met uh, some Russians running this comp on about 2.8k a few months ago, and then I got one shot in the opener, so, I mean, the, the potential's there, but um, I don't, I'm not sure they're going to use that particular strategy. <laughs> um, I would actually love to have seen if Infernian ran a different spec than the Affliction. I would have loved to see him run Demo or something, and actually go ham for this, but maybe he didn't have it set up. Right, here here uh, it goes. So, uh. you, I think... Oh, oh, the sap, the bash. Who do they CC? Where's the one shot coming from? Oh, we see Ore Mastery oh, from so Infernion. He's going for Han Stoken off. Oh, he's going to go down. Oh, oh. Maybe tree maybe form. Oh, tree form. Oh, it's not maybe. enough. Oh, no. Broccoli doesn't look like it's enough. 
and Stokenhoff goes down! <laughs> and then he finish it off by the icebox already been used from Pride, he's gonna go down as well, the cross kill! Can they finish it off in Ferdian? Uh, force into the ground, into the kitty, he doesn't have any breaks left. Oh no, I'm so sad! I'm Before so sad! I'm so oh, sad! No. That almost worked! <laughs> Uh, well, well, I mean, we almost redefined the meta, right? Like, we almost found the counter to RMD. That almost worked. Exxon, he might be able to do it. I oh, believe. He's, he's, dude, if No Lifer just <laughs> gave this to a 1v1? Let's see, let's oh. see. Hexen's trying. He's still trying. He's still fighting. He's just walking at him. Oh, oh the bad out. manner sheeps. I feel like they're toying with him just a yeah, little just, bit here. Look at this Baba rooting him. Look at He's just <laughs> so, so mad. Rude. He's just like, look at me. Oh. I was, I actually killed the druid, but these guys are just seeing me. Now I'm deeped. I just want to hit something. <laughs> All right, now I'm frost John. I just want to hit something. All right, he's moving. He leaps oh. in. He's going for it. He catches him in the storm ball. Oh, he blazing oh, speeds away. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I love it because you can you can see Inferni and then Fred Kitty's like dead body. <laughs> just watching just the life and they're just following him around. They're like, Hexen, look how fast we can run. Why can't you run like this? Oh, look! Oh, the Avatar! Avatar comes out. Oh, no way oh, for Oh! The ice block. Does he have to shatter? No. He's actually dead, I guess. Oh! Oh! oh. No, the deep oh full fast. sheep. Full sheep. Full sheep. No way. No way. <laughs> now going into still. A bit of fun here, I feel oh. like. What if Hexen gets the eye? What if this goes Is to a 1v1? I think he's going to leap onto him. He could oh, just throw the... Him. He has no trinket on Suchi! Oh, can he kill him? Oh, the sheep. No. He nope. doesn't want to reflect that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. If this goes to a 1v1, maybe Suchi's AFK. Oh, no lifer. He... Oh, he Ice Nova roots him. Ice Nova roots him again. He's almost dead. He looks like okay, Suchi's AFK. Oh. Maybe he left after. Yo, maybe he's AFK. No lifer's living such a long time if that's the case. This is insane. Uh, oh, no, no, he reflected. He has to break that. He has to break that. Kill. Oh, Kill. Execute. Almost please. there. <laughs> You oh, can do no, it! Oh the full sheep again. How is No Life able to just live this long? I don't get it. Like, he's been 10% HP for, what, three minutes now? Alright, into the frost jaw. He doesn't get it. Haxon, you can do oh, it! He so blinks cool. into the wall! You can kill him! Oh, he does he's it! Running. He does it! All the ghosts are just running next to him! And the one oh no, he's AFK! The wire. Who's gonna win this? He's AFK! Haxon's got this! It's the turnaround of the century, man! Look at this! He's AFK! Oh, this is so intense, the rogue is so elusive. What is Haxen What is Haxon waiting for? Finish him! Take this to no, game number four! You can do it again! Oh, he's gonna finish him! Triple and Turbo Resident Sleeper take it with triple DPS! <laughs> uh, I, I, I want to say we should highlight that, but... um. <laughs> I mean, an insane 2v1 coming out from Haxan Tudo there. We thought that the 3v2 from Kanitra Tigers was impressive, but Haxan able to take down Nolofa and Akai Suichi kind of, sort of, in a <laughs> amazing 2v1 there. Uh, just showing how strong Warriors are right now. So, um, but I actually love that they killed Chaz, because that was completely legitimate. Like, they... they Played the mortal coil even. They had so so many like they had stun which got triggered into stun into stun into coil and they actually took him down. And it's just they had to commit so much for it that they genuinely <laughs> What did I just <laughs> watch? Uh, Chaz, Chaz is typing me typing to me that Akai Switchy went fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I was starting to think that No Lifer and uh, Akai purposely lost because Chaz died. They were like, if you die to this, we're not gonna win the game for you. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like this could backfire because at the same time, Turbo Rest and Sleeper are kind of buying time for the rest of Shaman to come back, right? Like I think he's he he is meant to be back soon. They were like begging me to like play their series last because they thought he might be back in time. So we might actually see their WLS or their MLS become available in the near future if Kanuka Tiger oh um, put them out. <laughs> Dude, I want to see Triple DPS funny, again. Yeah. That looks like their best strat. I mean, he did die. Like, maybe if the mage could have used his blocks better. I mean, what if he played Evaness and just Evaness cold snap Evaness and took no damage? <laughs> yeah, actually, the Evaness probably would have won them that, right? Because he used the block offensive, so he didn't have another one. Yeah. If he did instead just Evaness, maybe they would have 
legitimately like won that because dude it's next uh, level oh okay it's next level he should go evan s play triple dps be uh, better I'm than the so rest happy now. i'm so so happy this this could literally be my dream story is, is this is actually, actually back it does look like the wls is the comp locked in for infernian which could mean if uh it mean we have a real series on our hands at the final, the last minute. Literally, that that two v one from Hexen kind of uh, might have kept them in the tournament here. Uh, do you think the triple they DPS can take AFK the throw, man? The triple DPS <laughs> AFK throw is actually going to turn into a real series. <laughs> oh my god! If they lose, if they lose, <laughs> this is one of those regrets. This is literally. <laughs> The funniest thing I've ever heard unfolding right now. Oh my god! And we do see Infernion, Hacks and Tudor, and we will see Tebow. The rest of Shaman is back. Turbo Resident Sleeper are back with a fighting chance of taking this. I don't think they were quite going to take the series as triple DPS, unfortunately. But Akai Suichi has given them the opportunity. It does look like Kenitra Tigers, though, have left, so maybe they have a small little issue here. The other problem would be if Akai actually had a serious technical issue, like... Yeah, that, 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 would, that would suck. I mean, it that was fun sucks. to think, like, he went AFK or whatever for, like, for fun, but if he's actually having a technical problem, that's gonna suck. Uh, it would. I, I don't, they haven't reported anything to me like that. I think he just went AFK because he kind of assumed that after they killed the guy, that... I would love to hear their it. Skype call. <laughs> that was going on, just like, like, no life or just, like, Hello? I can't, I can't kill him. Hello? <laughs> Akai? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he wasn't very happy about that, but... Um, do we count that as 2-2? Two to two? They left before the door opens, no? I don't yeah, think so. I mean... But I, I mean, come on. Oh, you want? You mean you want to give them... Oh, right. I mean, uh, nobody will know. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I'll mute well, my I, mic I, and I we, we can talk about as, it. Uh, I almost put it as 12-1. to one. That would have been pretty awkward. <laughs> we missed okay, okay. 10 games wow. we are going to be pretty bad uh, that game guys unfortunately that does not count as a win for our beloved WLS they are going to have to replay Tolver on Arena and uh, we have both teams locked in now it does look like there shouldn't be any issues and uh, nice scoreboards messed we up could have a, it, we could have Turbo Resident Sleep actually going through this it's 2-1 isn't it yeah, it's 2-1. Okay, my scoreboard is uh, uh, not right. Yeah, yeah. Alright, it's whatever. So, Resident Sleeper, yeah. they went down two games as Warrior Mage Priest, then they played Warrior Warlock Mage, <laughs> and then uh, Sushi <laughs> went AFK, <laughs> and after yeah. they killed the Druid, <laughs> and they took victory, and it bought them enough time for their main Shaman to come back from whatever it was that he was doing. So now we actually have a, a real comp here, Gonna be battling yep, it out. We have a real series, which I'm very happy about because, I mean, these guys weren't even stalling it out too much. To be honest, they could have uh, spent more time in between the games, like delaying us and making us uh, wait for their shaman. But they were quite sporting about it. They kind of accepted defeat, and now they've been given a new lease on life. So we will see whether they can use that to take down the Kenitra Tigers. But this is by no means a free win for the WLS. But we do see a nice opener from them. The Sheep's on Tebow, not really achieving too much. Uh, they're actually going to swap it over onto Tebow. Uh, the dance coming out from Akai Suichi. He's down to 50%. The Vigils comes out of the Health Stone as well. Looks like he's going to be okay for now. The Recklessness from Haksan trying to answer that. But the nice root actually shuts him down completely. The Sheep's and the Clones coming out. And they're not going to really get too much done at all with these offensives. And that's actually quite good for the Kenitra Tigers, I think. Yeah, they got a uh, Spirit Link out of Tebow. He still will have his Trinket moving forward. I'm wondering if the Kenitra Tigers are intending to train Tebow down. It seems like they're pretty content for that right now. Cheap shot on Infernion. Suchi with the offensive vanish into the full Garot silence. He's going to follow it up with a Kidney Shot. 2-2 uh, caught in a uh, Deep Freeze there, but he does manage to get the Reflect up, slowing down that clone. But Tebow's just taking so much damage. How's he going to make it out alive? He pops the Ascendance. He connects a huge heal right before that Death from Above connected. He's going to stay alive for a little bit longer. Haxon and Apolly. Nice to spell from Tebow, but Infernion's 
caught in a clone, and uh, Stokinov and Nolife are taking really good control of these DPS. Really just hard for them to get anything going at the moment. Tebow caught into a gouge on his heel. What are they going to follow it up with? He does manage to top himself off. A full Stormbolt over onto Stokinov. Uh, Suchi does have this combat readiness up, so it'll reduce a lot of damage. But Tebow with the cheeky cap stun gets landed there, and Stokinov was forced to dispel him. But Tebow again getting set up on. He still has that trinket. He's trying to hold on to it, but this is the Shadow Dance coming up from Suchi. It's a lot of damage. He's caught into the kidney. He's going to have to trinket that. He's trying to hold on to it. He barely gets the trinket, but overlaps it with the rallying cry, and that overlap could spell victory for the Kenitra Tigers moving forward. It just seems like training Tebow down is working so well. Yeah, and I actually think he could have maybe held on to that trinket, but maybe he didn't expect the rally until too late. He was so low. I mean, it's such a tough call to make. We do see the full fear onto Chaz right now. Tebow is still so, so low, though. The kidney comes out at about 40%. This could easily be the game. No trinket, no spirit links. They're just tunneling him down, like you say. He's going to struggle so much to top oh. himself off. He needs he to intervene the death from above. He the gateway, but the map's just That's... so difficult. and. <laughs> he lived because he intervened the death from above, and he just connected a heal before a gouge to stay alive. That was the game right there. Uh, so Haxon Tutu with a really clutch intervene kept Tebow alive, but here comes another Garot Silence. What do they have for the kidney shot? Uh, Tebow's going to dwarf and try and reduce a little bit of damage here. It seems like he's actually sort of stable. Suchi's caught into a storm ball. Colossus smashes up. They're just punishing Suchi so hard. Down to 20, down to 12. And Suchi's going to go down. And Turbo Resident Sleeper, score screen is wrong, currently tied 2-2 two to two in this series. They came back with the triple DPS victory over the AFK Rogue, and now this is karma, man. Bad manner brings bad karma. Turbo Resident Sleeper might come back in the series. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm thrilled that we have a proper series, and I'm really happy it's going down to the final game here because ultimately this was the first like real, real game of the series, right? And not only was it. Uh, uh, like the first game and they start from 2-1 down. This was also their worst map. This was Kenitra Tiger's best map choice and th Having won the Montolve arena, they can now pick a uh, They can only pick really Tiger's peak. I guess I guess that's probably their map choice They might choose Blazers as well with the Typhoon But ultimately I think that's probably the biggest challenge they're gonna have and they did almost lose the game Like you say the intervene barely coming out in time to save Tebow from sudden death, but um they just need one more game, and then they're going to actually knock Kanitra Tigers out, and that would be a huge upset, especially considering how this uh, series started. Do they go back to triple DPS? Um, <laughs> I mean, that, that was their cleanest game, right? Had to be. Yeah, it, it was super clean. I mean, the mage died, but <laughs> it was essentially a clean game, yeah. I mean, it looked like the most fun game for them. Is that is that a true point? <laughs> like... This is going to be a story for weeks and weeks that people will like remember. Or, well, people will remember this for a long time. I think if uh, the fact that they, because I mean, sure, the rogue did AFK, but for him to do that, they actually had to get the kill on the rest of Druid. Pretty sure. I mean, sure, like Kenichi Tigers kind of threw the game, but at the same time, there was two WMP games which were kind of thrown from uh, Turbo Resident Sleeper, so it is reasonably fair. But if they manage to win this series, it really does come down <laughs> to the fact that their triple DPS managed to take down Chaz in the opener. And then, despite still kind of losing the game, they... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I, I <laughs> I've got my face in my palm. Like, <laughs> yeah, maybe, 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 it, maybe it tilts them a little bit when something like that happens. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way they can... <laughs> this isn't something that ever happens ever I, I've never seen a situation like this like so they were missing their main player they had Infernion playing a disc priest which was his, his mega alt they lost two games with the mega alt they, so they say you know what whatever like play your warlock we'll play warrior mage warlock no problem no problem they queue up they kill the rest <laughs> of the druid <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. You had like the strongest accent when you said that. Like, play a warlock. I, I, okay, I can't try and imitate it. But you had like, I remember I watched a play called um, called View from the Bridge or something like that. I, I'm sure people are gonna uh, trash me for getting that wrong, but like something like that. And there's like there's like some Italian guys that are that, that are in the play. And you sounded so like them for a second there. <laughs> I didn't mean so to do it. To I love it.
You're, you're getting your European on. Super My European on. You've been commentating too much European stuff. You're becoming one of us. One of us. One of us. I'm sad they're not playing triple DPS. That was going to be yeah, a pretty uh, interesting match. But regardless, if Turbo Resident Sleeper win this game, D Machine has to eat a ghost pepper. He doesn't have a say in it. He's not even here. I'm just saying it now. He has to eat a ghost pepper if, if they win this series. I'm putting that on him right yeah. now. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that everyone in the chat agrees with that. And right. this is ultimately the last game of the day. Whoever wins this goes stays in the competition. If that's Resident Sleeper, then I cannot believe they're still in the competition. But uh, the team that loses, of course, just gets knocked out. And I feel like having come so so close, Resident Sleeper, there's no way they want to be knocked out at this point. And of course, the Kenitra Tigers, such big names, there's no way they want to go out this early either. We do see the open onto Tebow, the Vigilance coming out instantly to answer that, a nice defensive fear as well. They're actually swapping it over onto Chaz, but a nice displacer beast means he's probably going to be okay for now. Tebow, uh, the Vigilance barely keeping him alive. He actually had to use one Spirit Link there anyways, so a pretty similar opener to last game. But he's able to hold his trinket, which is quite important. Yeah, Infernion's actually got his Dark Soul rolling, so he's building a lot of pressure for his team. But Tebow into the full blind. Infernion could be in a lot of trouble. He's completely by himself, caught into a stun. He's got that Dark Regeneration up, trying to heal himself back up. They try and land the Ring of Frost. They get the sheep anyway. Infernion's trying to stay alive here. He he's going to have to portal. He portals back behind the pillar, trying to line of sight here. Another sheep on the Tebow. It seems like Infernion's still getting out a decent amount of damage here, connecting a haunt, but Stokanov dispels that haunt right away, unfortunately. And they follow up with a deep freeze. If Stokanov gets the clone, they could kill Infernion. A Garot's house to follow it up, and Infernion might just go down. Tebow trinkets the Garot's house, gets the Spirit Link out, but at this point, they're running on fumes for cooldowns. Suichi caught into a defensive storm ball, a charge over onto No Life, where they need to interrupt the CC on the Tebow to buy him a little a little bit of time to recover. Infernion popping another Dark Soul. If they don't get a kill with this Dark Soul, it's looking so terrible for Turbo Resident Sleeper. Yeah, and the fact that he had to trinket out at that last second of the Garot was really unfortunate for Tebow. I think he did have to make that cool. But now it means that the next blind, he's not going to have trinket available. He's not going to have trinket available for a long time. Infernion doesn't have those heals. They could definitely get the kill. Only really Infernion's trinket can save them now. There's no vigilance available for Haxan, and the pressure, to be honest, isn't that high right now. Stoinkanov is kind of low on mana, sitting ooh, at 30%, ooh, ooh. but the kill could definitely come in Tebow. here. Here comes the smoke bomb. They're actually going on to Tebow with this. He's down to 70% instantly. The trinket's coming out from both DPS. Oh, he gets! Desperately saved their shaman. He gets the gate away on the dance. Sushi can't connect. The fear coming out from Haxan. They're going to keep him alive. He's able to live just with the gateway, barely using any defensive cooldowns, and that was Kenitra Tiger's kill. And now Turbo Resident Sleeper can be looking offensive. Yeah, they're trying their best right now. No Lifer getting fully dotted here. Suchi uh, shortly after. Uh, but a full kidney shot onto Infernion. We see the blink in by No Lifer. He's looking for a sheep onto Tebow. Is he going to get it? He doesn't get it just yet. No Lifer is uh, feeling quite a bit of punishment, though, by Haxan. The Colossus smashes up. He might need to be careful here. Stokanov's mana isn't looking very good. This is looking to be like a D Machine eats a Ghost Pepper game, maybe. Uh, it's slowly turning around. If Tebow can survive to his trinket, maybe they can carry this forward. Suchi setting up with the gouge. W will he follow up with the kidney shot? Looks like he's going to go for the Garotsa. Deep Freeze over onto Haxon. Infernion needs to peel for his team. He lands the Shadow Fury. He's going for the defensive fears onto Suchi. He lands one. He peels for his team effectively here. I think Tebow might be able to make it out alive. He's caught into the kidney shot. Haxon charge stuns No Life. He's trying to keep him alive a little bit longer. He's caught into the cheap shot. How is he going to make it out alive? Rallying Cry comes out. Tebow struggling to try and stay above 50% HP. The Shadow Dance comes out from Akai Suchi. He's trying to punish and push forward. A full cheap shot onto Haxon. Stokanov sitting down for a drink. This drink is so important for his team to move forward in the match. He's back up to 83% mana. Suchi caught into a stun. He trinkets out right away. He cloak of shadows. Will that be enough? Haxon Tudu charges right onto him. Trying to finish him off, but doesn't have enough damage to do it. They're switching their pressure onto Infernion. He portals back away. He's trying to get out of line of sight. He doesn't want to lose the game. Defreeze on Tebow. Full kidney shot onto Infernion. Tebow caught in the blind. He's going to have to trinket that. He's being so greedy, not trinketing this. Vigilance instead used onto Infernion. They're really relying on that Vigilance to keep him alive. He somehow stayed in it. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe he held onto his trinket. Such a greedy play from Tebow, but excellent communication on the team using the Vigilance instead. I really like that. And now I look at Kenitra Tigers. They don't have trinkets available on Suichi or Chaz. He does have good mana, but there's no Heart of the Wild either. They could easily get the kill here. Infernion dropping down to about 50%. However, there's no CC on Tebow. Looks like he's going to be okay for now. Prepping his totems, getting that extra healing stream. Uh, Infernion just get locked on cast. There's no real pressure on Kenitra Tigers right now. They're kind of able to be quite free, but the, both teams are like... They, they've stabilized for now. It looks like we're at a stage where Chaz has good mana, Tebow has good mana. There's no real uh, opportunities for the kill immediately. We do see the setup onto Infernium. Suchi! 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 Ah! 
Embark comes out just after the Shadow Fury. He's going to be okay for now at about 50% HP. But you see the weaknesses exposed on Kenitra Tigers. They still have no breaks available. They could easily kill Akai Suichi in the next setup. Yeah, it's a very vulnerable point here for Kenitra Tigers uh, as well, though. Tebow has no trinkets. They need to be careful. Both sides under a lot of pressure. Suchi getting feared up. Who are they going to set up on is the question here. Stokhanov has burned through all that mana he got earlier. He's going for the bash on the hacks, and he needs to get a clone off of this. He gets the clone. They get Tebow into the polymorph. Infernion preemptively gets the dark regeneration rolling. He portals out of line of sight, but I think Suchi, death from above, just portal. He gets right back oh. onto him. Suchi caught into the Stormbolt. This is the Stormbolt for the kill, but they don't have any dots. Suchi's not going to take any damage as a result with this combat readiness but Sokanov follows up with a full clone over onto Tebow. Infernion could be in trouble a full polymorph over onto Haxon. Can they finish off Infernion with no CC on Tebow? I don't think they will. Suchi's still just getting annihilated through that combat readiness. It seems like they're just tunneling him through it. Uh, kidney shot over onto Tebow's Aura Master. going to be denying a lot of healing here. Infernion getting set up on once again. How's he going to make it out of this alive? He's down to 50%. Tebow trying to pick him back up but the nice clone from Stokanov is going to pause out his HP. A uh, Stormbolt here onto Suchi. Not going to really get anything done with it. another clone on to Infernion. No life is going to block. Is he going to go for CC with that? Doesn't look like he can just yet, but now being down both blocks, this is looking better and better, I think, for Turbo Resident Sleeper. Yeah, I completely agree. Haxon just doesn't care about defensive cooldowns at this point. He's just charging at people. The Vigilant's coming out now offensively, kind of. The full sheep onto Tebow. That's a good answer from Haxon. He can be so offensive onto Akai Suichi right now. He has nothing left. The evasion actually coming out is his final defensive cooldown. After that, there is nothing really available for Kenitra Tigers. The heart of the world up in 20 seconds. But like you say, no life has no blocks as well. Chaz's mana is low again, and they're actually swapping it over onto him. The skin coming out. The recklessness from Haxon. They reflect on the sheep. He can get a lot of damage done here. If he could just connect to his tiger. But they're doing so much to peel him. No life is spamming out the sheeps. The blade storm comes out to answer that. Infernion is the target of choice for Kenitra Tigers, but it doesn't look like they can get much pressure onto him. The other two forced to kite back is Akai Switchy on his own, and they could definitely swap to him. I think they could kill him. Yeah, Suchi's on the run. They're trying to pause the game for Sokanov to get a drink. They're going to blink back. Sokanov sitting down, getting a drink here. Haxon needs to find him. He doesn't know where he is. He thunderclaps him out, but with 30% mana, I think they're going to be able to stay in this game a little bit longer. But with Trinket and two Spirit Links, this is not looking like a winnable game for Kenitra Tigers. How are they going to turn this around? A full struggle onto Suchi. He's choosing not to Trinket. I think this is a big mistake. Down to half HP. Sokanov forced to spam heal him. It's Heart of the Wild coming up in the nick of time here to boost his healing. We see another attack onto Infernion. Smoke Bomb gets dropped. He's going to break himself out of that right away but into another cheap shot he needs to be able to portal here double shadow fury comes out in the meantime Haxon is just chopping apart this team Akai Suchi caught into a charge stun are they going to be able to finish him off he's trying to keep up that faint a full clone over on the Tebow he's got that trinket link if he needs to use it he's relying on this rallying cry to keep him alive nice storm bolt interrupting the clone out from Stokhanov and turbo resident sleepers survive long enough to get that spirit link out now they need some counter pressure they have to kill no life for a full fear on a Stokhanov no life for down to half HP iron bark gets used instead dampening is ramping up to 15% no lifers on the run. He blinks back in. They're trying to get whatever they can over onto Infernion. But with that trinket link as the last line of defense for Turbo Resident Sleeper, I think they can play a lot more aggressively in this position. Yeah, Haxon's definitely hearing that one. He's playing so offensively onto Chaz right now. He actually stonebots him and chooses to swap it up. The trinket coming out from Chaz anyways. We see Infernion dropping low once more, but every single time Infernion is the target of choice, his kiting, his pathing for that is so perfect. He's always able to get max distance and then get back to his Shaman for Link if it's required. We do see No Life is blocked barely coming up in time, but they are rotting so hard. Chaz's mana is low. He's down to about 20% HP. No Life uses the Invis, but the full round of dots gets onto him. He's still not going to be able to get that off. He's Ghost Pepper! Kill this. He's down to 30% oh. if Haxan could just connect. Come on, Haxan. <laughs> oh my god, they blind Haxan. That's... Infernion has to solo them at this point. Can Infernion solo them? I don't know if he can. Stokhanov sitting down for a drink. He's in stealth. He's getting mana back. If Haxon can get over here and just finish them off, he leaps in. He's going to do a ton of damage right now. Everyone down to half HP. Stokhanov going into bear form, trying to escape here. How much mana did he actually get? We're going to have to find out here shortly. Chooses to use that. He got 23% mana. This game's going to go on a little bit longer here, but still, Trinket and Spirit Link available for Tebow. They can just push in maybe a full clone onto Haxon. It looks like to be another setup onto Infernion. He gets Silence. He has no way to remove a kidney shot. Tebow might need to trinket, but they break it. 
What ended up? Or they stopped it. Stopped the sheep. And that means that Inferno should be all right. But nice clone on the Vigilance here is going to deny a lot of damage reduction from Haxon. Tebow trying to line up a heel. Tops off Inferno. Full fear on Nistokanov. Suchi with not very much left. Could be in trouble. Inferno trying to get some dots out. But No Life has been shutting him down with interrupts very effectively. Inferno just having a hard time getting the pressure out to end the game. Suchi's moving in. Groat signs over onto Inferno. Tebow has to be careful in this situation. Inferno's going to unbound Will out of the CC. Portals back. Lands of fear. And now No Life could be in trouble. Suchi down to half HP as well. Recklessness comes out, and I think a ghost pepper is about to be devoured. No life for into execute ranger shortly. Bam. What the how? How are you still alive, no lifer? Yeah, he was gonna surely go down. Oh my goodness, at 2%, the NS comes out, but his whole team is dead. Okay, Switchy at about 30% as well. I cannot believe his team's still alive. No life are literally living on nothing right there. Chaz has no mana. His whole team is sub 50%. There's no way they get out of this 30% dampening. They're desperately trying to get a swap, but a nice reflect from Tahaxan shuts down any CC. They get nothing onto Tebra. Another deep freeze goes to waste. The drink crying out from Chaz now. He's just desperately trying to get any source of mana. 10% mana chief there but no life is at 20 percent there's zero percent chance he's what is going on cycling onto hacks and how is he still alive I don't know how he's doing it, but a smoke on Inferno! They couldn't take the counter kill! Tebo trying to get in the bomb! He gets cheap shot moving in, he's forced to trink it! He drops the spear link, and at this point, no team has any cooldowns left to survive! They need to keep their momentum, but they land the full sheep! A ring of frost on a hax, and it's a 3v1 onto Inferno! He portals away with the dark regeneration rolling, he's trying to heal back up! They follow it up with a clone, Tebo trying to heal him back up! They just can't seem to finish off the Kenitra Tigers! A defreeze over onto Tebow! Defensive Shadow Fury interrupts the CC! Dark Soul out from Inferno! Infernion, will he finally be able to finish somebody? It doesn't look like it. How is Stokanov doing this? <laughs> yeah, two spirit links and a trinket card from Tebow, the full blind, but no life is the first to fall. Akai Suichi follows. You could see how they were rotting, everyone dying at the same time. And I can't believe this. This is like the dream turnaround for Turbo Resident Sleeper. We've seen Dispernion, we've seen the triple DPS, but now when it comes down to it, their WLS comes back just in time. And that's going to be enough for them to actually take the series and knock out the Kanitra Tigers. and. Probably the best game I've seen in, uh, I don't know, like maybe this expansion. That was insanely close. I can't, I, I, can't, I, I actually thought Kanitra Tigers had the game when they did that last setup. They almost killed through two links of Trinket and, yeah. Oh my god. I, that, that, that is going to be the story of the tournament. It doesn't matter who wins tomorrow. I can't believe it. <laughs> Imagine if Turbo Residence leave it gone to win this now. Like, this is the only team who I guess you can say have... They've run the Resto Shaman, they've run the Disc Priest, they've run the No Healer at all. <laughs> they've played everything. And what is going they're still on? in it, they're still fighting strong, knocking out one of the strongest teams in the entire tournament with a solid 2-0 WLS performance. So, I, 